All right, everyone. Welcome to the latest Team Evil GSP on IGTV video. Today, I want to continue our conversation about uh, Evil GSP approved authors slash books. Continue the book review, author review series. Um, and today, we shall cover Pavel. Two volumes here. Pavel has piles of material. If you're not familiar, Pavel, he's an Eastern European, sells himself as a Russian. I don't actually know his heritage. I've met the man, had some conversations with him, but I, I know surprisingly little about him. Um, he goes essentially by just one name, and that is Pavel. His last name is Satsulin. Um, I'm really bastardizing it because I don't speak with a uh, Russian accent. When you say it with a Russian accent, it does sound a bit different than that, but that, that's how it's spelled, and that's the Anglo-Saxon version of it, but um, I, I don't mean to damage the man's name, but that, that, that's his name. But Pavel, one name, he's sufficiently famous and uh, sufficiently uh, clever to go by one name. So like, uh, like, like Elvis or Trump or Arnold, he can have one name, Pavel. Um, the reason I'm bringing you Pavel as our second choice is because he really has put out some great material. Um, loads and loads of material, by the way. Uh, just off the cuff, I'm going to say something on the order of 15 different uh, volumes. I picked out two that I think are particularly useful that I would reference and suggest to people on a regular basis. The first one is Naked Warrior. It is very much what it sounds like. It's a non-equipment based exercise concept. Yeah, street workouts, calisthenics, that sort of thing, but um, done in a very Pavel way in that he goes into deep detail explaining concepts like what tension really is, what loading really is, and how they are more mechanical principles than they are weight on a bar. And basically gives you insight into how non-loading sports like martial arts, gymnastics, um, soccer, all of those sorts of things, how tension becomes a real thing and how tension can drive adaptations. So yes, it's a lot of body weight squats and one-legged squats and that sort of thing, but as he's teaching you those things, he's teaching you the underlying concepts of how to create tension, how to measure, understand, and utilize tension for the muscular adaptations you're looking for. So an excellent book, comically, and not necessarily intentionally, but probably the volume everybody should have had during the grand 2020 COVID apocalypse when gyms were closed, this is the stuff you needed to do. Now, I didn't include it in this particular selection of books just because I didn't want to be sitting here holding your know, clutch of uh, tomes, but also Pavel is the guy who essentially popularized the kettlebell in American exercise. So were you to take The Naked Warrior, uh, I can't remember the title of the kettlebell book, Enter the Kettlebell, maybe? Enter Kettlebells? And the two of them together would literally be a home workout tutorial of unmeasurable proportions. Um, also, separately, and a little less interesting to me, but not uninteresting in any way, uh, Pavel's very famous uh, piece, very much like The Naked Warrior, and also uh, historically, temporally aligned with The Naked Warrior, is a, a book titled Relax Into Stretch, where Pavel takes these tension concepts, and instead of applying them to muscular adaptations, applies them to flexibility adaptations and how to get maximally flexible in minimal amount of time through the same basic principles. So you start with this, you get strong and understand how to use your body, then you move into relax and stretch and you basically undo all of that. So then moving from there into the kettlebells, which is an excellent progression. And then a book that literally I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but there's a little little tab in there, and those little tabs in books of mine means that's something that I will have or do reference regularly. So that's how much I think of this particular piece. And this is Power to the People. Kind of a play on Pavel's you know, Eastern European heritage, and you know we'll use the word comrade and power to the people and things, catchphrases like that, which marketing, but nonetheless, not inappropriate. This particular uh, tome, is kind of his advanced ideas on turning strength into power, turning the accrued muscular adaptations 
into force production. Okay, you got reasonably big and strong doing this other stuff. Now, how do you turn that big and strong into hitting fast and hard? That's where power to the people comes from. A lot of concepts on deadlifting, proper setup, how to alleviate the mechanical disadvantage of not having an eccentric. A lot of that kind of stuff, really great stuff. Some insights into the Eastern European methodology for setting up a bench press and generating maximum body position on the bench via the concepts of tension, torque production, etc. So excellent book, excellent series of books. There's not one single Pavel piece I would say, oh, don't bother buying that. They're all excellent. They're all for real. Um, they all have a flair. They all have a theme that either does or doesn't uh, entice people. Personally, I like it. I, I get a lot out of it. I get a, a smile every time I pick up Pavel stuff. Um, but power to the people, Naked Warrior, Relax into Stretch, any of them, can't recommend them enough. And more importantly, Pavel himself. Uh, a couple of great podcasts. Did, did a Joe Rogan podcast, which was pretty good. Um, did a Tim Ferriss podcast, which was excellent. Um, been all over the internet. Definitely watch his kettlebell videos, watch his stretching videos, watch any of his podcasts, buy his books. I can't recommend them enough. I can say with a straight face, that um, if you were a noob, and most of my audience isn't admittedly, but many of you might be closer to my age and have children, I would say Power to the People, um, The Naked Warrior, and Relax into Stretch would probably be the three first books I would buy any beginning athlete, literally. Those would probably be my frontline this is the shit you need to know, kind of an owner's manual for a beginner's athlete. I really think so. So anyway, there you are, enough blathering. Pavel, run out, grab yourself some Pavel, Amazon.com, eBay, all the regular places. Um, can't go wrong, pick up a couple copies. Until next time, stay strong.